Hi, this is Scott Ryan here, and some people have been asking me how they can determine if they have aluminum wiring in their homes. Well, what I've done here is I've selected a portion of a webinar that I put together entitled How to Stamp Out Aluminum Wiring Fire Hazards in Your Home Quickly, Permanently, and Affordably. And you can register for it at AluminumWiringRepair.com. It is the final word in aluminum wiring repair. And before I get into it, if you could please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. I don't even think it notifies you. It really helps me get the right message out to the people who want to hear about it. That would be great if you could do that. Thank you very much. All right, so let's get to it. How to discover if you have aluminum wiring in your home. One quick question. Do you even have aluminum wiring in your home? You're here obviously because you have a concern about aluminum wiring. You know how it can potentially affect you and your family. You know also you want to fix it. But maybe you don't even have it. Yes, if your home was built somewhere in the mid 60s to the mid 70s, odds are that you do have it. If it was built earlier than then, but you suspect electrical work was done during the aluminum wire era, then aluminum wiring may be in your home. Although most homes with electrical wiring installed during that time was aluminum, it doesn't mean your home has it for sure. On audits we've conducted, we've found some of them don't. This usually was as a result of the home builder, for whatever reason, continued installing copper for home electrical services. So, although it is not necessary for the purpose of the webinar, you may be interested to find out on your own if you have aluminum wiring. This is the purpose of this video. I'm not saying you must do this because any electrician can do it for you if you don't want to mess with it. In fact, I highly recommend getting a qualified electrician to do it. But if you're the type of person who feels confident enough to check it out for yourself, this video is for you. It is very simple to find out for sure. I'm going to cover three quick methods so you can do this. One, check printing on the insulating jackets. Two, check the connections to an outlet otherwise known as a receptacle, or three, check the electrical panel. Firstly, I have to make a disclaimer here. The lawyers will string me up if I don't. The information I'm about to impart to you here is purely for information purposes. Any inspection of your electrical services should be done by a qualified electrician. We are not responsible for anything you do in using this material. There, now that the lawyers are happy, I'll go into the order from the easiest to hardest methods. Let's get started. 1. The first and easiest method is to look at the insulating jacket covering the wiring. If you go to an open space where the wiring is visible, such as the attic or ceiling joists in the basement, you can actually see aluminum or AL printed on the insulation jacket. If you see this, then you have aluminum wiring in your home. If you see copper or CU, then the wiring is copper. However, this does not necessarily mean your home is aluminum wire free. Be sure that the wiring you are looking at was not installed before or after the mid 60s to the mid 70s. If your home was built prior to the mid 60s and you had work done after that, there could be aluminum wiring installed at that time. For instance, if your home was built during 1970 and your basement had renovations in 1980, the wiring in your basement would be copper but the main floor would still be aluminum. Very typical situations we've encountered is aluminum wiring is on the main floor. The basement or garage has copper because they were completed in the years after aluminum wiring was banned. However, if your home was built in 1956 and there are renovations you know for a fact or suspect were done in the basement in 1967, the copper will be on the main floor and the aluminum in the basement. Make sure you are clear that you are checking wiring installed during that era. A great place to check, if the walls are not finished around it, is at the electrical panel. Electrical cables for all circuits in the house feed into the panel. If you can see them, the printing should be evident on the insulation on these wires. If method number one is not available to you, or you still have doubt, then you want to try method number two. Select a couple of outlets you suspect are aluminum wired. Again, be sure they are ones installed during that aluminum wiring era and preferably ones that are untouched since then. Also, it is better to check an outlet rather than a light switch because a switch can have more wiring in the box. You don't want to disturb the wiring and the simpler you can keep this process, the better. Important, once you have determined which outlets you are going to check, be sure to turn off the power to their circuits. 
Electricity is not something to be taken lightly, and I don't want you getting hurt. A great way to find out if you've turned off the right breaker is to plug a light into your target outlet and make sure it is on. Go to your electrical panel and turn off the breaker to that circuit. Go back to the outlet and check if the light is off. If it is, you got the right breaker. Then get your screwdriver. It's usually a smaller slot type. Remove the cover plate on the outlet. Typically, electricians installed the wires to the outlet receptacle the way wiring was supposed to be, by wrapping the wire around the connection screws on the sides of the receptacle. Usually, these are readily visible on the receptacle inside the box. Of course, you can use a flashlight to see better. If the bare wire under these screws is silver in color, it is likely because it is aluminum. I say likely because, although rare, there is copper wire manufactured with a nickel coating and it looks like aluminum, but chances are if you see silver, it is aluminum. If you cannot see the connections, it may be because electrical tape is wrapped around them. It could also be because the wiring was installed by being inserted into quick connects in the back of the device. If this is the case, unscrew the receptacle from the box and pull it out gently. Let me repeat that. Pull it out gently and only far enough to see the connections. Do not bend, twist, or otherwise manhandle the wiring in the box. Aluminum wiring needs to be treated with respect, preferably by experienced hands. You don't want it fracturing because you were careless. You could cause damage that can endanger your family if you are rough with it. Once you can see the connection, you can see if it is silver or orange in color. Silver means aluminum, orange means copper. You need only find one aluminum wire device to know for sure if you have aluminum wiring in your home. Don't be shy to check several outlets throughout the house if you don't find one immediately. Method number three, open your electrical panel. Warning, this method is not recommended because you will be exposing yourself to live electricity. If you place a screwdriver in the wrong place, you can have an immediate and brutal surprise. An electrical short can burn through metal in a flash and cause damage to your service. Worse than that is the possibility of you getting electrocuted. There is easily enough current exposed in the panel to kill you. If you cannot make use of method number one, and although this method number three is potentially the most hazardous, it is also the best and easiest way to confirm aluminum wiring installation. Once you remove the panel cover and without touching anything in there, simply look at the wire connections to the bus bars. These bars are the long skinny metal pieces silver in color attached directly to the box. You'll see many wires inserted into them and secured by screws. The connections to them are easier to see than the ones at the breakers. The wiring is stripped at these connections and will either be silver, copper, or both. Since all circuits are wired into the panel, you'll even be able to count the aluminum wired ones. Install the cover back onto the panel, making sure you don't touch anything in there. Also, be sure not to pinch a wire between the cover and the box edge. This can cause the aforementioned surprise bang you definitely don't want to have. Again, I recommend having a certified electrician do this for you. Typically, they won't charge you for it, and then you'll know for sure. Please beware. If you find a burnout, that means anywhere from a slight browning of the insulation jacket, like this one, to a blackened one, like this one. Leave the circuit breaker off and call an electrician right away. If you are planning to get all of the connections fixed anyway, I will tell you where to find the top qualified experts to do it in the webinar. If you insist on fixing it yourself, then make sure you get the right information on how to do it in Dr. Jesse Arenstein's report, Reducing the Fire Hazard in Aluminum Wired Homes. You can get the video report simply by searching YouTube with the keywords Aronstein Aluminum and it should be in the third position. I highly recommend again to hire an experienced qualified electrician to deal with these hazards. I hope this video was helpful to you. I also hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it for you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you liked what I had to show you today, please subscribe. That really helps me out a lot, and if you want to, you can get the Final Word in Aluminum Wiring Repair, a webinar that I put together that will help you out in getting the aluminum wiring repaired in your home correctly. If you attend it, you'll avoid the three dangerous repairs promoted by so-called experts. You'll uncover the only two approved methods for permanent repairs that won't require tearing your walls apart. 
to save you a ton of dough doing that, and you'll find the one document that can keep your insurance company from ruining your day financially, and to also increase the value of your property, and you'll also learn how to find the best qualified electricians specializing in the approved methods in your area for your job, and much, much more. Please go to AluminumWiringRepair.com to register now.